So here it comes, barreling down your eye holes like a Mack truck. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to be a popular YouTuber. All right, this is box number 55. Again, mostly books, I believe. Uh, I did see something that looked like cloth on the top. <laughs> Bed sheets, perhaps, to fill it out. Yeah, it's blankets, it looks like. All right, starting to get into the domestic stuff. But let's get started. I'm actually quite happy to, uh, to get some housewares in here because <clears throat> I've been paying a lot for blankets and stuff. All right. Um, more books, and it looks like it's mostly the, I don't want to say garbage books, but things that are, you know, not in great condition, fairly mass market. But let's see what we got, if there's anything interesting in here. By the way, if you've never read uh, any of the David Walshinsky and Irving Wallace books, do so. Uh, they came out with a book of lists, and then that was a series, and the People's Almanac, and then that was a series. This was my trivia stuff when I was a kid. <clears throat> um, I mean, and you can see the, the influence on modern day uh, internet. It's, it's a lot of like, you know, trivia and lists and mass murderers and <laughs> etc. All right, let's focus. Bring it back. Yeah, inspirational book. Neil Simon's amazing. Um, William Sapphire, very good on language. I think he's the one who's kind of shitty on politics. Whatever. I was thinking of doing some, trying to do some TV writing, but I had no, no way in. It just never worked out. <clears throat> wow, I think I bought this when I was a teenager because I was working in a cheese store. Let's see the date. I don't suppose it really matters. Probably 70s, 80s. Book about the daughter of Esperanto's founder. Oh, look at that. This is quite possibly from when I was first here in the 90s. Is that, is that possible? Is there a date on it? There's no date on it. How funny. The only way we could figure it out probably is to see what buildings haven't been built. Anyway, it might have been when I was here in the 2000s. More books. If you want to learn Chinese through Esperanto, there you go. Chinese conversation. And more language books, more sort of general interest books, another William Saffer. Uh, lots of... Oh, you know what? <laughs> oh, man, I think this is all the same t-shirt. This was... This was an organization I founded. It was a nonprofit. Actually, this was before the nonprofit was founded. So one of my great failures is I started, a, a, well, sort of failure, is I started a non, a, an anti-spam organization to encourage uh, legal prosecution of spammers. This was around 1998, and then that eventually became a, a full nonprofit, and I had a bunch of t-shirts printed up. And there we go. I now have a whole lot of these. I should send these to my former partner in crime, Doug Muth, because I'll bet he still stays in touch with that whole crowd. So it looks like that's all that's in here. A little bit of history, a lot of mid-level books, and a blanket. You're welcome. <laughs>